in this video we will create models and services required for our application so the models or the classes uh, are nothing but you know the blueprint of our table structure so basically we create these models or classes in order to avoid writing you know a lot of variables so it's uh, very helpful to have classes or models in our application so let's try to create the model or classes for required for application so we mainly have two tabs right the employee page and the department page so we have two main tables the uh, an, an, a table which maintains the details of employees a table which maintains the details of uh, department so if you look at the sql server we have in the employee database we have created uh, two tables the department table and employee table so we're going to create a, a class which has a similar you know uh, names as that of these columns so department has department id department name employee has employee id employee name department mail id date of joining okay so let's quickly create those models in our angular application so we're going to create a new folder inside the app folder and uh, we can call it as models and inside models let's create a file and uh, call it as department dash model dot ts don't forget dot ts extension it's a typescript file so i write our class here export class department okay so what does the department have it has department id and department name so make sure uh, you know uh, to have the same names as that in the table so that uh, we don't get into much of the issues it, it, it binds automatically if the names are you know matching so we have department id which is a number and department name which should be a string okay so that's for department so let's create a file for the employee model as well let's click on the new icon and call it as employee dash model dot ts now what does employee has employee has employee id employee name department mail id and date of joining so let's export class employee so when you say export you can import it in some other places so if you want to use this model in some other file or uh, in any other component you can simply import those this model and then you can use it so that is the reason we write this export so export class employee it has employee id which should be a number and uh, employee name which should be a string then we have department which also can be a string mail id keep it a string and finally date of joining supposed to be a date but uh, let's keep it as a string so that uh, it's okay we can keep it as a date only so we'll say date date of joining right not date it's d o j date of joining we'll keep it as date so that's about the models required for application and uh, what is the next thing that we want that we discuss we'll do is we'll create the services so what are services services are nothing but the files where you write all the logic uh, to consume the web api methods 
so basically we'll create two files you can create one service file also but to keep it simple we'll create two files one for two service files right one file for employee and one service file for department so what does the department service file contains it contains all the methods that are required uh, to you know the consume the API methods so the uh, the method such as you know if you want to get the details of all the employees in our table we write a get method uh, inside our uh, department service um, file the if you want to update any uh, department or uh, employee we write that post put get delete so these things we write we, we, re we write these uh, uh, methods which consume web API methods we write this in uh, service files so how do you create service let's go to the command prompt and uh, type let me zoom in a bit so we have to type ng generate so we're gonna create this inside a folder okay uh, we're gonna create a new folder here models we don't have to recreate here we can create in the command prompt also so we're gonna create a new folder services inside services folder we have two files one folder one file for employee and one file for service file for department so how are we gonna do that is we have to write ng generate service and then services if you say write services slash it's going to create a folder okay with the name services and inside that i have i want one service for employee let's see what happens i guess it is created so if you can observe uh, we have a folder created and inside that we have employee services dot ts employee service dot spec dot ts is something that we don't need uh, we can delete that as well uh, this is what we are concerned uh, so here we write all the methods to consume the uh, api methods written for all the employee service okay employee uh, table we need another service for you can basically use the same file and write the for department as well but to keep it simple we for the sake of understanding not to keep it simple for the sake of understanding we let's have a separate file for department as well so ng generate service services slash department when that is done and finally one important method one one important step that uh, is very crucial is you have to go to the app module dot ts file and you have to add the your services in the providers section okay don't forget to add that because you'll get some issues while uh, you know, serving the app <clears throat> so we're going to import i told you going to import so if you look at this service file you have export class employee service so you can import it in the app module so department also has a simpler thing so we're gonna import department service from dot slash sorry let's say src slash app slash services slash department service okay that was for department let's import employee service as well it's employee service and employee service and then important thing step is to import these uh, components inside the providers okay department service or providers or department service as well as employee service okay and then finally let's try to compile the application and see if there are any issues let's write ng serve dash dash open and see if everything is fine
so it's everything is fine as of now with no issues I guess okay